Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. This is the place where women who are aging beautifully come to be inspired. My guest today is Jody Filagomo. Jody is a fashion blogger. She has a fabulous website. It's called jtouchofstyle.com. And she just has the most amazing way of uh, en- enabling and empowering women to feel really good about the fashion choices they make and to find their personal style. So great to have you here, Jody. Hi, Margaret. It's so great to talk with you. You're <laughs> such a positive person. I'd love that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, you know, as I think we get a little older, we start to prioritize things a little differently and take joy in the simple things. Yes, being and grateful for what we have. Totally. And I love your approach to fashion because you're a very practical, you know, hands-on kind of person. And I wanted to chat with you about a trend that I've been noticing and ask you how you would advise people to approach it. And that is the trend between, you know, the modern on-trend look and how you mix that with the vintage bohemian look. Tell us what your ideas on that are. Well, you know, one of the reasons I think that's gotten very popular right now is because, at least here in the States, thrifting and secondhand seems to have made such a big push in the market. Mm -hmm. And And, in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's good for um, the environment Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's, I think it's great because as we get older, at least some of us don't always give everything away. And so we have some of the older styles in our closet still. (laughs) It's very true. So how would you, first of all, I guess, suggest people, um, you know, think of wearing them, like how, how to combine them? Well, my favorite way is um, the, the opposite Mm -hmm. And so let me give you an example. I actually have a lace dress that used to be my grandmother's dress. Oh, wow. And it has a slip. Isn't it gorgeous? (laughs) Yeah. It has a slip under it. They're not, it's not um, one piece, two pieces. And you know, it's, it's obvious when you go to wear this, that it's older because there's no spandex Mm -hmm. in it. There's no stretch. Yeah. But it's still very nice to wear it. And, you know, it's very sentimental. Yeah, of course. And so I think, you know, we tend to think of lace as girly. It's very feminine. It's a, you know, it's a girly material. Mm -hmm. And so the modern way to pair with lace is something masculine or, or edgy. Yeah. And so I will wear my faux leather (laughs) model jacket. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. And that changes the look. It makes it more modern, more contemporary. It's not just a lace dress. It has a it has a message with it. You know, you've really raised a really interesting point about why this trend is so popular, because I do think that somehow we are returning to focus on family, focus on legacy, history of our family, and just to have a piece of clothing that your grandmother owned and wore, Yes. And how you can say to her, hey, you know, Grandma, I'm actually bringing this, using this in my style today. How right. cool that is. You're, yeah. you're bringing along the, um, the clothing from before. And, you know, styles always change. So they always come back around and circle back around. <laughs> okay. So how great that we can embrace what used to be stylish even now. So lace and leather. That's one idea. Okay. Lace and leather. I love it. So... Another way, especially if you go to the thrift store, um, I think we shouldn't, you shouldn't always just look at your size and just the things that you wear because you can take something that maybe is too big and have Mm -hmm. it altered Mm -hmm. or something that is old fashioned. um, Maybe it has too big of uh, shoulder pads and take them out. And, you know, if if you're good with a sewing machine or you know somebody who is, alterations can really change a vintage piece and make it look more modern. Yeah, absolutely. So, I like the idea of removing the, the, the shoulder pads. It's a really simple thing you can do. Yeah. One thing about older um, thrifted products is that the fabrics are really interesting too. Yes. So and usually well made. Yes. And even if you just like one of the things I've done, my mom used to have a, fur coat. And I know a lot of people don't like fur, but you know, she's had it. It's already, it was bought many, 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 many years ago. She has it. 
why get rid of it? Because that's hard on the environment too. Yeah, it's so true. It's a good point. So I actually took the sleeves out um, and, and now she has a fur vest mm -hmm. that's very trendy right now. So that's a great way to alter coats or jackets is take off the sleeves, make a vest out of it. Um, and then it, you don't worry about having the sleeves on it. It's a good idea. Actually, just for those people that are meeting Jody here for the first time, I, I wanted to mention that her website, Jay Church of Style, actually features her mom and uh, a lady called Nancy. And they're all like 10, 15 years apart in age. So you can go up to Jody's site and see these fashions, like take a theme like coats, for example. And each one's got a little bit different body type. So you can see how that fashion works on that body type. And um, it's really a cool approach to, to fashion. I always say we're real women showing yes. real clothes. Yeah. Because if we're not models, you know, this tall or thin or, you know, how the models that. are supposed to look. We're just real. <laughs> what you would on the street. <laughs> no, it's, and it works. It really does work because fashion um, is, is not about, you know, uh, well, it's about being feeling in yourself, like in your body, like who you are. And if you've got a little bit of extra weight, it shouldn't mean you wouldn't wear what you love. Or, Absolutely. You know? One of my friends just said, we were talking about stripes and she said, because you read so much, oh, you shouldn't wear horizontal stripes. They make you look bigger. Mm -hmm. And her comment was, well, I'm allowed to take up space <laughs> and I have a lot more things to do than worry about how to look thinner. Yeah. You I know, think that's, sorry. Yeah. That's, you know, we do need to feel good in our clothes, but it's not about looking one way. Yeah. You know. So I think that's actually a very interesting point going back to vintage and modern is that modern trends can be really fun, but they do tend to be very, um, you know, flighty. They, they disappear like, you know, this month it's plaid, plaids. Um, but the vintage tend to be more like you almost can create like a take a jacket and then just mix it up with whatever is modern at that moment, the color or the style. Absolutely. Well, and another thing I like to do is try to change the look of the mm -hmm. piece. So for example, short cardigans, I wouldn't say they're out of style, but they're certainly not the most modern style right now. And so I have a vintage um, oh, short, sorry. it's a short cardigan, but it's sparkly. It's very yeah. pretty. But instead of wearing it as a cardigan, I will button it up and wear it as a, almost a shirt under another uh -huh. jacket. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. And, oh, that's and pretty. It's changing what it is. Um, and, you know, my jacket is a tweed jacket, which is classic in a way, but it's a newer one. Mm -hmm. So I consider it sort of modern, especially the way it's shaped and the collar. Um, and so I'm mixing my vintage and modern that way. You know, that, that's, that's a really pretty look. And that sweater, you brought back all kinds of goosebumps and memories. Because, no, because my mom used to have a sweater like that. I remember that. It wasn't quite white. I think it was a different color, but it had flowers creeping up the arms. It was just gorgeous. But yeah, but what's really nice too is a lot of modern is, is looking vintage. In other words, embroidery. I've seen a lot of embroidery. Yes. Like, and a lot of um, uh, rhinestones. Well, and that's why I think it's nice to actually shop in our closet because you will read <laughs> yeah. something that's on trend. And then you may not even remember that, you know, you think, oh, I have this green jacket, but you'll kind of forget that, oh, yeah. it has embroidery on it. It's in style. You know, yeah. pull it out, wear it. Yeah, that's the best part shopping in your closet. I love that. I love that phrase. And I love the idea because I think we do forget that we've got a lot there. But I think it goes back to something that you said earlier about, you know, shopping and, and styling yourself for the you that you are, you know, mm -hmm. and if that person likes classic fabrics and vintage look, it doesn't, you know, you can make it real for you, just as you are, you know, absolutely. Yeah. And I think, um, Getting away from some of those rules, that's a way to make things modern. And it's hard. It's hard. We've been told things, certain things over and over and over. And so, um, you know, pushing beyond that, I think the first time you wear something that, you know, you've been told you shouldn't wear, it's hard. But no one stops you. The fashion police don't stop you and say, you can't wear that. Sometimes your friends may look at you and you're, but it's, it's good to, to try something different, to get out of your 
your normal zone. Well, I love the inspiration of people like Iris Apfel and, um, you know, people that, that just are so, you, you can't even name what, what they are looking like. You can't name that as modern or vintage or anything. It's just them. It is them. They just, they pull it all together. And do you have conversations, Jody, with your mom about, um, like just what we just said about, oh, I can't wear that. Oh, all the time I get the, let me tell you the eye rolls I get. Yeah. Especially ankle boots. You know how ankle oh, boots I are love them. stylish yeah. right now. Sure. Well, my mom doesn't like wearing them with skirts or dresses because they don't lengthen the leg line. And, you know, she's been brought up, you want to look taller and leaner. Yeah. So I've been trying to fight that in a way because I always say to her, it's silly for me to try to, to, um, pull the wool over your eyes that I might be tall because if you ever meet me, it's obvious I'm not tall. You know, what I should look like is that, you know, everything fits well. And I look, I look nice. I look put together. I look like someone who you might want to talk to. Mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So this has been really helpful. I think, you, I mean, you've talked about a couple of ways that you can actually blend vintage with modern in terms of like, for example, lace and leather, you know, sparkly or embroidered uh, sweaters with a, a traditional jacket. Is there anything else? If you were going shopping in a thrift store, for example, are there any things right now, just the, today that you would look for in a thrift store that would complement what you see as modern just as your experience as a blogger, you know, fashion blogger? I always like to look for more of the classic pieces, like a denim shirt that I'm mm -hmm. wearing now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like a denim shirt's pretty classic. And you can find them at the thrift store pretty easily. And yet, really, it's modern right now, too. It kind of, it goes both ways. Yeah. And it goes with everything. As we know, jeans go with everything. You wear yes. them all the time. And so, white shirts are also very, when you go into a thrift store, you'll see a lot of white shirts and that's something you can do amazing creative things with. Right. Especially when you're stuck on, oh, I have a pair of colored pants. What do I wear with it? White would always go with it or a chambray. You know, those are things that, yeah. that work all the time, especially if you don't want to buy a lot of things. What about colors? Any particular colors that you think from a vintage perspective would go with modern um, items? Well, right now, pink. Pink is, it's the millennial pink. Pink is the color. And I think when I was growing up, I wouldn't wear much pink because it was girly and it wasn't, you know, we wanted to be strong. We wanted to be, um, in, you know, smart. We <laughs> Blue. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I think um, the millennials have really pulled pink back into the mix and made it, okay, you can still wear pink and be strong. And I think it's great. And it's something I look for when I go shopping because there are lots of different pinks. It doesn't have to be just a light pastel pink. It can right. be a bright pink, so many variations. Yeah. This has been such great advice. And, and I would say, you know, go out to the thrift store and look for those things that you, you know, that you are, that you're drawn to. Don't think about, you know, whether it's in style or not in style, just like the lace or the, or the, uh, or um, the, the sparkles, the, the rhinestones, if they draw you to them, you'll find something in your modern collection that they'll look great with. And I think it's good because it might push you to wear it a different way than what you're normally, that what you normally do. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, Jody. well, thank you for this advice. Um, and I hope that you've got some inspiration from all of this. Go check out Jody's website, uh, jtouchofstyle.com and also look at her on Instagram. Uh, it's jtouchofstyle. Perfect. Thank you Thanks so much, so much. Jody. Take care. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our 60 and Me YouTube channel and also visit our website. We are a strong and dynamic community of women over 60. We're challenging aging stereotypes and every day we share fascinating stories, interesting questions and great conversation.